what this morning's status hearing means for the Idaho Force suspect case. Feel me once here, driving instructor of the world. The status hearing is something that they use to set up the schedule uh, of all the events up through the trial. So a speedy trial in Idaho starts in about 14 days. So typically this stat, the preliminary hearing, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, would have taken place somewhere in the next 14 days. But the prosecution asked for July and the defense asked for June. Now, both of those are very interesting decisions. The preliminary hearing is basically like a grand jury in a criminal case. So the prosecution will go before the judge, show what it has. It's a kind of balancing act. You don't want to show too much, but you want to show just enough to get over the line so that you can bring probable cause to show you have a case. Let me show you this. So what you had this morning was the preliminary status hearing or just the status hearing. Now, the defense did not waive the preliminary hearing that you see on the right side. They are holding a preliminary hearing, which means they want to see what the prosecution has. So you go over to the left side and that preliminary hearing will determine whether they have probable cause to keep to go to a trial or they don't have probable cause. If they have probable cause, that's the point where then the defendant will enter a plea and then from there they'll go to a trial. If the state can't show it has probable cause, then obviously everything's over. So this preliminary hearing is now set for June 26th. That's a long time out, five months. And the judge said that they would hold the whole week open, so the 26th through the 30th, five days for the prosecution to present its evidence. Now, it may not need five days, but that whole week is held open for that. A lot of people are making something of, out of these scratches on Brian's face. We do not know what they are. This was him in the status hearing this morning. We don't know what they are. They're likely him cutting himself shaving, supposedly a police officer is on record somewhere saying that. I haven't been able to verify that. When he walked in, he did not seem like he had bruises or anything else on his face besides these tiny cuts. So between now and June 26, the state has to find all the evidence it needs to present it starting that day. And the defense needs to see what they have so they can prepare their case against it.